The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we're going to be ripping some Ultimate Legend packs. I did get the bundle, or at least have the points in my uh, account to get the bundle today. So we are going to open up a five bundle for the Ultimate Legend packs today. We're going to be trying to get the brand new Steve McNair and the Jack Youngblood so, uh, yeah, we're going to have to take a look at these things first. I really actually have not even taken a look at them yet. Um, I put it into the search menu so that I could get to it quickly here in the video for Jack Youngblood. But I haven't even taken a look at the attributes or the price. So, let's see here. Um, the cheapest one right now. So, this is the set version of the Jack Youngblood. Going for about 600,000 coins. Not really that much. Actually, kind of surprised that that's so low. Let's take a look at his attributes here. I wonder what he's got here. So, 85 speed. That's, I mean, that's good. It's not amazing. 94 power moves. Very nice. 93 block shed as well. 93 play rec. Finesse moves mediocre. Acceleration solid at an 89. I mean, this looks like a good card to me, man. I don't know why it's uh, why it's so cheap. 600,000. I mean, granted, it's not cheap. But it, I, it's not as expensive as I, as I was expecting. Uh, and then we have the limited time one, uh, which is a little bit, uh, I guess, it. let's see here. It looks like it's got a little bit better attributes, maybe. Yeah, a little bit faster, 90 speed, so it looks like it's like a plus one pretty much across the board here. Um, so that makes sense, I guess, but nice attributes overall for the Jack Youngblood. That's going for about 830,000. Now let's take a look at the Steve McNair. This one is really the one I think people are pulling for right now. Um, you know, obviously we have a ton of really good quarterbacks in the game already, but let's see what this Steve McNair is going for. So cheapest one right now, the set legend. Looks like there's actually a lot of the limited time versions there must be a lot of people pulling those but cheapest one right now is an again it's a 98 overall quarterback card very very nice um let's see here 85 speed at quarterback that's actually damn good it's not mike vick don't get me wrong but it's better than russell wilson uh at least in terms of i guess not speed wise but uh at least in terms of like passing attributes go 98 speed or 98 speed uh 98 overall 94 throw accuracy short 91 mid 93 deep Pretty good attributes kind of across the board. He's kind of a good balanced quarterback card. And then uh, let's take a look at the limited edition one. So this one, 87 speed. That's actually really, 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 really good. 87 speed, dude. That's that's really nice. 95 throw accuracy deep with that 96 throw power. That card's beastly, man. It's going for 1.18 million right now. So, yeah, I mean, we can definitely make some coins if we pull one of those or even any of the elite cards that go into creating them are typically worth a decent chunk so with that said let's not waste any more time man let's hop into it let's uh let's open up some packs here i am going to be ripping them here again i've only got the 85 overall team right now don't worry about that that's just that's just for video purposes but um all right here we go we're going to open up the five bundle this is going to give us a topper which is going to guarantee us two ultimate legend badges oh boy can't really do much with them, but we'll open that up to start it off since there's really nothing in them other than those Ultimate Legend badges. But this is what we want, man. We want the five freaking Ultimate Legend packs. I'm excited for it, dude. I, I haven't opened up Ultimate Legend packs really much this year, so um, this is our chance to do it. I, I also have 23 large quick sell packs. I'm not going to do 100 of them like Toke is, <laughs> but uh, I might do like a 30 set of uh, quick sells and see if we can get anything good out of those. But... Let's hop into it, guys. Let's see if we can get anything good here in these Ultimate Legend packs. Starting it off with a silver card. Oh, boy. All right. And we get a Brian Stork Campus Hero. Okay. Not bad. I, I'm kind of surprised that I would pull a random Campus Hero. Granted, it's only a gold card, but still. Nice to get that. Quan Alexander. Let's get some Elites rolling in here, guys. These are 80,000 coin packs. Come on, Madden. Jeez. Teddy Bridgewater. And then our Elite. Wait, never mind. We didn't even get a freaking Elite. Jeez, dude, these things are freaking brutal. I thought you at least get a freaking, like, elite something out of them. I thought at least you'd get an, an Ultimate Legend badge. I guess not. I thought these things contained Ultimate Legend badges, but jeez. That's nuts, man. All right, so we get the Gold Ray Nitschke. Eh, not really worth a whole lot, I assume. Let's rip through them. Hopefully, we can get some more. Something good, anyway. I haven't really gotten anything good yet out of them. Ray Maluga. It would be hilarious if I got no freaking, like, elite players. We get the Sterling Sharp there. We do get a Miami Campus Hero, so that's got at least some value to it. Come on, give me some freaking elites, man. Come on. We need a beast-ass card here in this pack to make, or this bundle, to make it even close to worth it. Oh, gosh, these things are awful so far. All right, 
We've, we've only gone through two of them, though. And we only need that one really good pull to make it worth it. Come on. We're actually getting random campus hero stuff, which is kind of cool, I guess. Saving the packs from being completely worthless so far. Get the Willie Brown. Man, that's awful. We got to get something good here. We have to. At least, at least there's a lot of gold slots in these packs. But damn, this is freaking terrible so far. What are we down to? We're down to two more packs, guys. Whew. Come on. We need this. We need this. Come on. Come on. Gold, gold, gold garbage. Let's get some elite pulls. Come on. If I get no elites, man, these things are just terrible. Look at these back-to-back. -back. Alan Bailey, Jay Howard. They look like the same damn player. Come on. Here we go. Here's an elite. Let's go. Come on. And it's a max strong. Okay, an 87 overall. I will definitely take that. Any sort of elite ultimate legend card at least has some value. This is the speed version of him. What does he have here? 83 speed. A lot of speed there, man. That's a fullback. But still, that's pretty low. But still, 87 overall. That is at least a decent pull. That's definitely going to be the best pull that we've had so far. Um, yeah, so any, like I said, any elite ultimate legend player, those are definitely worth something. So last pack guys wish me some luck if you guys are enjoying these videos make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new get the jack youngblood gold okay that's at least got some value this weekend we'll have to sell that quick though come on come on elites please we need some freaking elites we're down to the last card in the pack hopefully we get something good here and it's garbage damn it well, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, though. If you did, again, be sure to drop a like on it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Really appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys again soon.